big game Friday night, Carl, obviously, against the team that's made the Asian Champions League finals. What's your thoughts on A, West Sydney's achievement and B, what you face on Friday? Uh, every game in the A-League is tough. We've seen um, you know, a few teams in our preparation for the beginning of this season. We'll be facing it like every other game we, uh, we have faced previously and every game that we're going to face in the future. You know, we're going to focus on us. Um, obviously, it's a big game, the start of every season. Um, you know, sets the pace for the whole the whole season, so it'll be great. Um, you know, and congratulations to them. That's all I can say. They grinded out a great result against a good opposition, and you know, we'll be supporting them in the final for sure. But on Friday, it's business, and you know, we're going to not hold back. It's going to be a fantastic game, fantastic atmosphere with um, you know, at our at our home ground. You know, so it'll be great in front of our fans. You've been away since you're about 18, I think, really yeah. in Italy all that time. You've played a few games now, pre-season games. What do you make of the level of the game here compared to when you were left and went away as a kid? Oh, it's at a great standard. The intensity is um, something that I didn't expect, and you definitely have to be at your fittest and at your best. Um, you know, so that's something I've worked hard on, and you know, something all the boys here have worked especially hard on. It's been a tough preparation and now the good bit's here. Uh, you know, it's an exciting few days into the first game of the season. Carl, you're obviously in a way sort of finding your feet in some respects with uh, the A-League, but you've already played three A-League teams in pre-season. Uh, no losses as of yet, two wins, one draw. How do you feel victory is shaping up in terms of uh, the new campaign? Very confident. We're very confident in ourselves. We believe in ourselves and we have there's a great trust not only amongst the players, but amongst the whole club. It's, a, it's honestly a special feeling here at the club. And, you know, I'm not just saying that because the cameras are here. It's something that they've created and something I, I wanted to be part of. And, um, you know, yeah, we've had a good pre-season. We've had, you know, a great pre-season looking back. However, you know, it's the start of the season. Just because we had a great pre-season doesn't mean, you know, we're going to play well on Friday. We have to do more. You know, it's not just, oh, we've done enough now. No, we have to give more to be, you know, at our best. So that's what we're looking to do. You've won uh, two titles in Italy. Um, is there any sort of similarities that you can see between those seasons and the lead into this one? Definitely. Um, when every, every important season I had in Italy, there was always, you know, a fantastic group of players and a fantastic club supporting behind them. Um, that's the key thing. We have everything here, you know, we've spoken about it, we've, um, you know, we dream about it, it's our goal, but now we just got to get out there and do it. I mean, it's not just enough just talking about it, we've got to show that we want it week in, week out, every training session as we have done up until today, but every day is a new day and, you know, that's what, um, that's the mentality we have at the club, something I love and something that, you know, like I said, I, I wanted to be part of this and, it's um, just every day it makes me happy because I know that it was the right decision coming home to Melbourne Victory. Carl, a lot of new players coming through the spine of the team, centre back, centre forward, Barisha yourself. Has it been easy to integrate, do you feel, um, that you, you're getting that kind of structure right? It is, it is. It's honestly like we've played with each other, you know, our whole lives. Um, Matthew has a fantastic experience, you know, um, and He's starting, you know, to slowly gain confidence in his English and I believe he's got a lot more to talk and a lot more to say to us that I myself can learn from, all the older players can learn from. You know, he's a great player and best is proven to be one of the most dangerous players in the A-League. And, you, you know, we've got Faid now who just joined us, who's, uh, who's going to be an important part. But every player in this squad is going to play a big part in our season. Um, you know, so I know some of the younger boy, boys might not realise it now, but, you know, they'll get their chance and they need to be ready and uh, we know that. And, you know, we're pushing each other along. With such squad depth, Carl, how sure are you that you're in the top 11 when everyone's fit and available? Um, you know, it's something that uh, we've spoken about. We're just, um, we're focused on the team effort. It's not no longer about the individual because individuals don't win your leagues. Individual don't win your games. It's a team effort. So whoever's uh, not sitting on the bench or sitting in the stands, they're just as important as the player playing. In fact, most of the, the important seasons I've had, the players are not playing the most important because they're the one that drives the group and, and um, you know, really push each other along. So that's something we've spoken about. That's something we know. And, you know, I'm sure my, my, my turn will come to sit out and watch the guys and support the guys. Obviously, be a bit upset, but I've got to take that, um, you know, that kind of into positivity and push, push the guys along because I know that it's going to be a team effort. So yeah. this is something you've been looking forward to doing for a long time in your career. You're nervous coming up to your first game in the A-League? Nervous as any other game. I mean, you know, I've had the, been fortunate enough to play lots of important games and, 
you know, you always get that feeling before the game. It's something I've loved since I was a little kid. So if I ever lose that feeling, I guess it's time to hang up the boots. Well, a long time with the national team, World Cups, Asian Cup finals and things. Asian Cup here next January. Are you thinking much about that? Are you thinking about big chance to get back in the mix full full on? Well, I'm going to say I'm pretty boring, but it's just the mentality I have. I'm focused on what's at hand. I believe if you start looking too far forward, you lose your way. Mm. And, you know, I'm just looking at Friday and putting an effort for the club, for the fans who, you know, I know are excited about this and, you know, mainly for the boys who are alongside me and the boys who unfortunately won't be alongside me in the stands. So, um, yeah, just focusing on what's at hand. Is this the first time you've been out yet? Look, you know, it's all a bit of a blur, you know, 10 years, yeah, you know, my age is probably starting to show here that I can't remember. But, um, no, it's all a bit of a blur, but I'm pretty sure I have played here and, um, you know, with the national team. So um, it's a special stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. Just coming here and, um, you know, warming up in the in the warm-up rooms is yeah, it gives you that feeling that some important's about to happen, so it's great. Is this, is this a good time to play the Wanderers? Round one, they got an eye on the Champions League yeah. final. They'll be pumped after that result. Last week, do you think they might let their guard slip a little bit for this one? Um, you know, after watching them a few games, I don't think they're going to let their guard slip. Um, but like you know, I spoke about previously, our main focus is on ourselves. Um, we believe in ourselves, and and that's what we're here. We're here to play. You know, against the Western Sydney Warriors. Yeah, respect them, and you know they are a great side. But we're going to focus on ourselves because I believe we have the qualities. Um, um, to do well this year and uh, to overcome Western Sydney. I'm going to ask a contrasting question to that. Do you think the fact that they've played four cutthroat knockout matches in the last month or so in the Asian Champions League makes them probably the best prepared team coming into the A-League and that four makes them dangerous? You know, you can argue that fact and yeah, it could be positive, yeah, it could be negative. We don't know. It's on the day. On the day, it's a, you know, it's going to be Melbourne victory against Western Sydney. So you don't know what's going to happen. All we can do is prepare ourselves the best way we possibly can and that's focusing on today's training session. Do you think you have prepared yourselves the best that you can? I mean, obviously you don't know until Friday night, but up given until the... Now, up until now, yeah, I can definitely say the boys have worked extremely hard. The staff, the club has put on a fantastic effort to make sure, you know, we're all welcome and everything's prepared. So yeah, up until now, everything's been great. And, you know, today's got to be better than yesterday. So, yeah. No Mark Milligan uh, Mark this Mark week. Mark. Uh, any extra responsibility on your shoulders? No, you know, obviously Mark's an important part of the team, important part of the club, he's our captain. Um, you know, it's a bit strange that they do start the A-League season on a FIFA date, but, I mean, that's out of my hands. Um, you know, we'll miss Mark, but I believe the depth of the squad, and Mark knows that, that, you know, he was fully confident going away. He's like, you know, good luck, boys. He didn't have to say two words to us because he knew, you know, that there's a lot of depth and how hard we work here. Um, so, you know, we've got it covered. We've got, you know, we're not, we've got nothing to prove to anyone but ourselves um, and our fans. So we're just going to, like I said, you know, just focus on ourselves, mate, because we start looking everywhere else, you lose your way. Um, we're focusing on the game at hand, which is on Friday. We've not got anyone to prove to any other club but ourselves. As long as we can come off that pitch and know we've worked our, worked our hardest and look each other in the eye, um, then we've done our job.